Hi everybody, welcome back or welcome to the channel. It's your boy Wicked T. Today we're going to take a look at 15 scary ghost videos haunting the internet. Now this is from a channel called Chills. Um, again, everything's going to be linked in the description below. Uh, so yeah, let's get on with this Fright Night Friday. Alright, here we go. Number 15. A YouTuber named Brett Johnson says there is a ghost in the hallway of his house haunting him every night when he returns from work. And what's most bizarre is that the paranormal activity only ha- I don't like the annoying TikTok voice. Um, you know, that that's- it, This is what everything is and the description is all up here. Yeah, I don't like that voice. Um, I might not do another chills one after this happens in the hallway the ghost doesn't seem to care about haunting any other places it's not a draft either even with a big fan blowing the opposite way a ghost still closes the door and when he puts his camera down and waits for two hours the door behind the fan mysteriously opens it's like the ghost is messing with his mind I would say that this is a fake video except for one thing. When he investigates the rest of his house to show us, nothing is there. A weird noise happens nearby, like something passes right by him, and it seems to have left through the front door. Number 14. This video is apparently... Uh, yeah, that one was a little weird. A little hard to debunk without seeing much evidence. The camera was... The camera work was terrible. Um... Let's see what this one's gonna be. Taken in Bangalore, India. A motorcyclist with a go... Okay, I really... I'm not a big fan of his voice. Um, he's one of those... TikTok... Instagram real actors uh, where his voice is just way too weird and always inflecting and it's just just not right it's uh, just not right pro is riding late at night it appears to be a desolate rural road with no street lights soon the motorcyclist approaches something on the side of the road that is glowing white taking oh, no that. chances hey, it almost sounds like there's three voices in the video. So is there like two or three people on that motorcycle? Yee. He speeds past and then apparently uploads the footage at a later time. Normally, I'd say this is someone covered in a sheet. I don't think that would explain why it's literally glowing white though. Due to the glow, I would say there is a good chance this is actually paranormal. Number th Not necessarily. Uh, white sheets, if you get a light on them, tend to look like they're glowing so i i don't think that's i think that's just somebody being weird on the side of the road 13 at around 3 a.m on april 12 2010 this strange apparition was captured on the security camera of a bar and grill in las cruces new mexico during closing hours published by ghost investigations new mexico in april of 2010 the crew slowed the frame by frame to one eighth speed and shot video of the bar security monitor. What they captured does indeed look like a floating head. In the regular shot, it appears to flash in and out quite quickly. While in the frame by frame, it looks like it actually flew out of sight. You can make out the eyes, nose and mouth and ears of the head's face. Yeah, it doesn't look quite human, does it? And it looks like it turns and goes out that way. Um, but yeah, you can tell by the white border that they're just watching a security camera. But it doesn't appear to have a body. There was no one inside the bar and grill at this hour. So what is this thing? Is it the face of a spirit? Where did its body go? Number 12. Christopher passes by a mysterious figure that everyone in the car thinks is really weird. And the time when we look at that WRC edition, what is the world where the champions just had? That looks like a scarecrow. 
He's in the middle of the. Uh, it looked like it had sticks for arms. I don't think that was a woman. Desert of an unnamed Arabic speaking country and hasn't seen anyone in miles and miles. Christopher says he was worried this person might be stranded, but when he turns around to help, they were gone. Well, more like disappeared. That's really weird if they're telling. Look, look at the hand. It looks like it either holding a stick in front of it or sticks for arms. I, I think that's a scarecrow, and this is just something stupid that these young people threw together telling the truth because there is nowhere to hide they might be facing the camera and even reaching out to them at oh actually it does shift position so maybe it's holding a stick in its hand uh that's a little weird hmm but it could also like i said it could also be just a hoax um a lot of these a lot of the, these videos seem like they could be hoaxes the 29 second mark. What do you think? I can't tell if this is a person or a ghost sighting. Are they asking for help? Number 11. Okay, so a YouTuber named Shadow Break wants to know if he's caught a ghost on his home security system or if it was something else. His dog is staring at something in the distance when the door opens by itself only a little bit. No one is touching the door, but it kind of looks like it's being held open. And it freaks the dog out. Wow. That's a... Uh unusual one. 10 seconds after the door opens, the dog's ears go up. It seems to follow something through the yard, almost like somebody walked out the door and passed the dog. After staying open for almost 20 seconds, the door suddenly pops open even more for no reason at all. The owners finally take notice and look out, startled, wondering what this could be. It doesn't seem like the wind because nothing else in the video is getting blown around. I can't think of what else besides the wind would make a door open like that, except perhaps a ghost that was strange but uh, yeah not unusual for a door to blow all the way open once it's already open so the initial opening is the strangest part the door blowing all the way open and it, it could be ghost related it could be natural number 10 for a long time, this office webcam video in Lewiston, Idaho, has caught weird things on camera between the hours of midnight to 2 a.m. Strange objects like orbs and other creepy stuff. One night, the webcam glitches out really bad and starts picking up odd specks of white light shortly before this mysterious figure is caught on camera with one arm raised. The apparition... Almost looks like both arms are sort of raised and out to the sides. That's a little weird. The machine gets bigger as it presumably floats closer to the camera. The person who uploaded this says the building has a history of paranormal sightings. Maybe what we're seeing now is exactly what was haunting them. Uh, it could be haunting, but it also could be a massive camera glitch or maybe some sort of uh, video artifact. I don't know. I'd have to see the actual camera and then also the actual footage because re-uploaded stuff, it's really hard to tell. Freaky, right? Number nine. When a scary video isn't self-explanatory, it's time to break out some armchair detective work. But even if you're Sherlock or Enola Holmes, you'll have a tough time connecting the dots of this video. Published to YouTube in March of 2012, Ghosts Are Real 66 writes, been taking video of local cemeteries for a while and examining them from frame to frame found the image of what looks like a ghost of a young boy from around the early 1900s by the way he is dressed the video was taken at kinder cemetery established in 1902 while scanning some tombstones at a distance a distinct flash is caught on camera while zooming in you can make out a figure although you can't really distinguish its dress youtuber mainly mainly says that he's wearing suspenders and a white shirt but that uh from that frame it's hard to tell um it could be something uh a lot of it looks like 
I, f I forget whether that's called pareidolia or you see what you want to see. Um, like I can't explain why it became white, but a lot of the background looks like it could form a shape. So it's hard to tell the, like I said, the camera work in most of these is not great. That's up for interpretation. Some think it's a reflection in a car window. Others are sure it's the paranormal and I'm leaning towards the latter. Number eight. According to this TikTok by Elkakoi.tv, nothing is a coincidence. This couple was driving around when the boyfriend captured something on camera that sent chills down his spine. The couple later had a strange accident, which looks like it totaled the car. Here's what he captured in the seat behind her. It's a nice car. Uh, unfortunate it got totaled. But yeah, that looks like a figure in the back seat. Um, I wonder if they picked up a ghostly hitchhiker. Ugh. That face looks a little more decayed than I thought it was going to look. Is it a demon? Some in the comments think it's odd that he would even take this random picture of his girlfriend, but others are pretty sure this is the girl's guardian demon. I'm with them on that. Um, never heard of guardian demon. Uh heard guardian angels never a guardian demon and generally if you go by biblical descriptions and other scholars scholarly works demons do not protect things um you think they might if they're trying to get souls to hell but uh no they don't generally protect stuff number seven a driver in Singapore thinks they have a clear lane ahead when something to the right startles them badly enough to make them lay on their horn. The pale outline of a woman appears to be perfectly balanced on the center divider. Oh, well, this could just be a person trying. I didn't see that at all. Wow. And across a busy road, the driver is convinced that they've seen a ghost, even if. Uh, I didn't, there was no light passing through that figure. Um, let's see if I can back it up just a little. Trying to cross a busy road. Yeah, there's no light passing through them. You can't see vehicles on the other side except the distant ones, which are a little distorted from trying to the light trying to wrap around the body. It looks like there's a shadow underneath from the street lights. I think that's just a person. Personally, the driver is convinced that they've seen a ghost, even if this is a person and not a spirit. I really don't know why they would choose to cross this section of the road aside from hip alcohol, drugs. There's many reasons someone could pass use that uh, intersect that area of the road to cross be traffic there's really nothing but a tall hill on the other side and no discernible buildings of any kind number six published in april 2017 by steve cody this video allegedly shows a ghost haunting a swimming pool in the descriptions that's a new one i never heard of ghost haunting a pool i've seen it in movies uh, but I've never heard of one um, haunting a pool before. And that is a large blobby apparition. Steve writes, I noticed my camera picked up motion around my pool about a week ago. After midnight, I watched the whole video with my wife. And there's a ghost or something floating over the pool. He said it lingered there for several minutes. 
The video does in fact show a light floating over his dark swimming pool at night. It just hovers in the top right corner of the screen, bouncing back and forth a bit. So what is it? A luminous ghost? A ghost holding something luminous? That's really hard to tell what that is. Um, that's an unusual one. I'll give you that. I'll give you that, Chills. That is an unusual one. Whatever it is, don't go in the water. It kind of looks like it's dancing on the water, too. It's hilarious. It's, at first, it looked like it was kind of dipping a toe in to see what the temperature was like, and then it just started dancing on the water. Number five. Bree Calderon gets an alert from his home security system. The motion sensor camera has caught some weird things on tape over his table. Meanwhile, a small light is by the door that he can't explain. According to Bree, the ghost is moving towards an urn off camera that contains the cremated remains of his grandmother. Maybe it's Granny's ghost going back to her resting place. Could be. Uh, hard to tell. I don't. I didn't even see it. Like I see shadows moving around, but I don't see. And the light just looks like a lens flare almost. There. That would be terrifying. But there's no way to tell if any part of the story is actually true. With that said, the strange mist might actually be some small picture distortion. But this visual glitch. Yeah. The there you go. This small mist. Yeah. That could be. This bit of mist here. I, it's hard to see. But yeah, it could definitely be just camera distortion. Uh, and again, that light is odd because it's reflecting off the door and the floor. So it's almost like it's coming from where the ca roughly where the camera is down towards that spot. That's, that's an odd way to put light placement. Which wouldn't be enough to set off the motion detector. Basically, I can't fully explain this video, so this might actually be paranormal. Number four. This security guard only signed up to guard against humans, not ghosts. Redditor XHBTDX shares this freaky security footage that shows a guard having a full-blown conversation with someone who isn't there. Yes, sir. Who are you talking to? I thought that's a, a silly lady. I saw her walking by the door. I thought it's not just looking for the three men. I think it's Abigail. Is the guard seeing things? There is no old lady named Abigail here. This is the dispatcher's response. The car was closed. That she should talk tomorrow morning. That she might see what the women. Are you sure you're saying Miss Abigail? Like, she's been passed on for two years now. When the security guard realized... So, on the camera, there's nobody there. He's just having a full-blown conversation by himself. Talking to a Miss Abigail. And the dispatcher said Miss Abigail, who used to live in this location, has been dead for two years? What the hell? As is, there's no one there. He jets off. Miss Abigail, is, she she died two years ago. You mean you can't see the person I'm talking to? No, there's nobody in front of you at all. What? He even asked the dispatcher, who's watching the cameras. <laughs> Many in the comments think this is fake because of the dispatcher's odd lack of surprise or urgency. I tend to agree, but if it is, the security guard here deserves an Oscar. That is odd, but it also sounds like the dispatcher's voice was put in afterwards. Uh, and maybe the feed is delayed, uh, so she doesn't have a sense of urgency because she doesn't think it's important. But who knows? Um, it could be a big hoax. It could be a translation. Uh, it could be a lot of things. Grr. Number three. This creepy paranormal video is believed to be somewhere from Russia. A man cautiously crosses his child's room late at night. From Russia with love. 
Clearly frightened by something scary enough that he wants it caught on camera for the world to see. Did Chills add that music or is that the music the uh, Russian uploader added to it? He closes a window that he doesn't remember opening. It's here, he's sure of it. If he keeps waiting, it will be caught on camera. Scary moments are ahead. Oh, oh my. That is... A pale oh. figure claws at the glass. The sighting of a ghost in the window makes him drop the camera shortly after the apparition. Yeah, that is... Heck of creepy. Again, hard to tell if it's paranormal or not. It could just be a friend out there wearing a blanket. Who knows? Uh, but the fact that the windows were open when he doesn't remember them being open. Uh, kind of glad the bars were there. Although, if it was a spirit, that probably wouldn't have stopped it. Um, ...is caught on tape. The video is decent quality, but the ghost is low resolution, so I'm not sure if this ghost video is real. Take a closer look and tell me if you think this paranormal video is real or not. Number 2 Dark, damp caves bring only danger to wanderers. And here's another proof, published by Solo Paranormal in January of 2022, and credited to Victor Perez. This encounter is super creepy, although we don't have context for this video. From what I gather, the cameraman is navigating through a cave system in a vehicle. There appears to be an opening overhead off to the left, followed by another section of the cave. But what is that to the corner on the left? Something appears inside the cave in the darkness, a strange sliver of light. It appears only for a moment and then vanishes. What is this light in the darkness? I guess exploring that cave is the only way to- Okay. Ah, oh, that's in a cave. And with an opening to the surface, um, if there's something reflective up there, maybe, but, um, yeah, that is, that one's a little harder to explain altogether. You find out what is going on here. There must be a story to explain what is happening here. What's scariest about this image is the creature it showcases. I'd be staying far away from this thing, and that's a promise. This image is currently trending in the Arabic-speaking YouTube community. I came across it on a popular... So it's probably a djinn. Uh, that's what a lot of spirits in Arab-speaking countries uh, seem to call a djinn. A uh, dark spirit, usually troublemaker. Are those eyes around it? Is there like four of them in this picture? Like that is hella crazy. Another YouTube channel that creates content in this language, and I wanted to share it with you. It's a great example of how unique elements of horror can be found all around the world, each with its own twist. So what do you think it is? And more importantly, do you think it's real or just a clever effect? Let me know down in the comments. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next five seconds? Because I upload four new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number one. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Master Allen 73 This Redditor wrote, Me and my girlfriend are asleep at 3.55 a.m. when the door closes on its own. There is a door stopper holding it in place. I'm always very skeptical of the paranormal and other footage I have captured. But this one... Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. 
So there's a stopper in front of that door. Hmm. That should not be moving then. Um, I wonder what type of stopper it is. My grandmother used to have these plastic wedges that you put underneath the doors to keep them open. Um, if you got a strong enough breeze from a window through through the house, it would actually push those closed, even with the uh, plastic stopper underneath it. Mostly because uh, every, almost nearly every room in my grandmother's house was tile floors, so the plastic had really had nothing to grip on. But if there was no windows open, it would hold the door open fine. Uh, this looks like a wood floor, so less friction there. Uh, like I said, it, I don't know what type of stopper it is. Um, my grandmother also had some s nicely carved stonework door stoppers, and they never moved. <laughs> There were certainly some debates about this video in the comments. ASAP Rab wrote, I'm sure you've noticed, but just after 31 seconds, there's some kind of particle or orb going straight up near the bathroom entrance, creepy footage, and the uploader replied saying, Honestly, I had not noticed it. I had been concentrating on the door looking for shadows. While well, TCG Games wrote, How many days do you wake up and your door is closed? Was the heater or the air conditioner on? Has this happened in the past? And the uploader replied saying no. This was the first time in 8 months. With or without the AC running, it's never closed on its own. Can you think of any other explanation for this footage? I think there's a good chance there's a ghost also in this bed. Honestly, that orb looked like a bug closer to the camera um, but who knows but that if there's no AC running no heat nothing that normally pushes it closed uh, that's odd Droom. all right and that is the first video from chills um, for another Fright Night Friday I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe because it's free. It helps out the channel. And then do all that over on Chill's channel. Uh, again, link will be down in the description for this video, and you can follow it to his channel from there. And I will catch you for next Friday, I think. Yeah, next Friday will be the last Fright Night Friday, uh, unless I get some more uh, some comments saying you want to keep it going but otherwise uh i will catch you next week for the final fright night fridays bye bye